Fellows, I've started a petition. I've got this is some, several hundred signatures. I've already rounded up. If you want to, we got some more copies. Y'all can line up and sign it. I'm going to try to do this through the rest of the month. And we're going to send it to TVA, let the people speak. They acquired TVA property from farmers and put it in public trust. That means it belongs to we the people. It ain't them letting us use their land. It's us letting them use our land. We need to uh, speak up, not let the feds run roughshod over us. So, I, you know, I've started a petition. What's it say? What's it? Um, right here, you can read the heading, but these are full pages. I rounded up just over the weekend several hundred. I believe I've done signed yeah, that. Yeah, you might have. But read the sign that talks about the campground and the fisherman access area. That means they'd block off our fisherman parking lot and the access that leads to the sluice and the dam. And that's it, it's that's too valuable a resource for us fishermen to lose. Yeah. So we need we need to stand up. I fished it for over 30 years. I'm sure some of y'all probably fished it longer. I'm sure you'd like to see your kids and grandkids get to fish it. Well, we need to speak oh, up. That, this this is an iconic spot well, for the variety of fish, the species, the quantity, and the quality that is available right here bun, that you, you don't find oh, in, in a, a, a very few locations. Nowhere near here it measures up to the steam plane. It's famous, and so we would surely appreciate, uh, you know, whatever can be done to where we can still park, walk back our fish, and enjoy the great outdoors because this land is federal land, it's in public trust, we the people should have a say. Okay. Well, if you wouldn't care to give me the petition. I sure will. As you can All right, I'm, I'm going to run it through the end of the month. Okay. And um, I know that they talk about the fence, the sign says that by September, I was hoping to get this to y'all in early August. You know, it really is because of the closing of the coal plant. You know, this has been in the works for some time. As we begin to work to to close the ash site. We have about a four year project, construction project, to close the ash site, which will require lots of heavy equipment. Uh, that actually will come over into the campground area some. It will close the fisherman parking lot up towards the, the old plant and the pathway back towards the uh, discharge. There's just gonna be a lot of heavy equipment moving back. Mm -hmm. It would just be too risky. We don't want anybody to get hurt. Uh, I think that's what they're here for, for is to get an explanation because they don't even know, you know. Right now it's going to be multiple years. It could be up to four years. You know, yeah. we still have some decisions to make about what to do with the old building, the old building itself. Right now we're focusing on the cap of the ash, but, you know, we, we have to cap that. It's, it's an mm -hmm. environmental requirement that we get all that stuff capped up. That requires heavy equipment. And really, our construction folks who are going to do that, they all need to get in here. They want to get in here soon, and that's why you know we, we've allowed this to stay open as long as we can. We'll do this. We'll start putting the fence up in September, okay. and then they'll have to get started. You know, you said uh, you know up to four years. That the sign says permanently closed. I don't see why you couldn't uh, you know set us out there a light at the end of the tunnel and say that we, and work it to where this could reopen. Because there's been generations of people I'll, fishing. I'll tell you what I told her. I said, Joe, that's something. That's what the bridge will cross when we yes. get there. Once they once they complete the project, then uh, they'll we'll, the, we'll have to yeah. cross that bridge. See, because I, I can understand, like if you demolition the the smokestacks and not want people there. Well, we still got to decide what we're going to do about all that. But right yeah. now we've got to we've got to cap and close the yeah. house. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have no well, I, and that's understandable to see now that, but that that wasn't the, the reason that was given to me at the 1-800 TVA land number. They said security issues, well, like like just because uh, uh, they cut back personnel. Well, that is a, that, uh, that's part of yeah. it too.